If Patriot missiles are not being sent perhaps US forces could train Ukrainians on the Patriot in a nearby NATO country? Artillery, helicopters, armored vehicles, ground radar and thousands of small arms and ammunitions are arriving in Ukraine and reportedly making a huge difference in the ongoing war to repel the Russian invasion. However, while ground radar can help Ukrainians see incoming ballistic missiles and rockets, it does not include the interceptors needed to knock them out of the sky en route to Ukrainian targets. Russian cruise missiles still need to be stopped, as several very recently hit Kiev, despite the eastern focus of the war. Artillery reaching 30 mm could potentially target Russian launch sites with the right surveillance, targeting and precision, however it appears the Ukrainians may still need more powerful interceptors themselves for missile defense. Air defenses can be helpful, but there are a few key technologies not yet on the list of provided equipment which could give Ukrainians an opportunity to better defend against incoming Russian ballistic missiles and rockets. The Patriot system gained notoriety during the Persian Gulf War of 1991 with the claimed engagement of over 40 Iraqi Scud missiles, but those claims became a source of controversy. The system was successfully used against Iraqi missiles in 2003 Iraq War and has been also used by Saudi and Emirati forces in the Yemen conflict against Houthi missile attacks. The Patriot system achieved its first undisputed shootdowns of enemy aircraft in the service of the Israeli Air Defense Command. Israeli Amayan 104D batteries shot down two Hamas UAVs during Operation Protective Edge on August 31, 2014 and later, on September 23, 2014, an Israeli Patriot battery shot down a Syrian Air Force Sukhoi Su-24 which had penetrated Israeli airspace, achieving the first shootdown of a manned enemy aircraft in the world for the system. When asked if the Patriot could go to Ukraine, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said the weapon would not be sent because it requires U.S. soldiers to operate and the U.S. is of course reluctant to put U.S. forces on the ground. Could U.S. forces train Ukrainians on the Patriot in a nearby NATO country? Seems like an important idea. Kirby said the U.S. is now training Ukrainians on weapons systems in Germany and suggests additional training is on the way. Why not train them on the Patriot? Ukraine does not appear to have sufficient defense against Russian cruise missiles, rockets and ballistic missiles, many of which can travel hundreds of miles. The Patriot is a surface-to-air guided air and missile defense system currently in use worldwide including in several NATO countries, Germany, Greece, the Netherlands, Spain and the United States. The role of the Patriot is to defend against airborne threats as part of an integrated air and missile defense system. Notable characteristics of the Patriot system include a short response time, the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, good ground mobility, and the ability to resist electronic jamming. Patriot systems have four operational functions, communications, command and control, radar surveillance and missile, interceptor, guidance. A battery has six major components, a power plant, radar set, an engagement control station, launcher stations, the antenna mast group, and the interceptors, missiles, themselves. The radar set provides detection and tracking of targets as well as fire control. The phased array radar helps guide interceptors to their intended targets and is resistant to jamming. The engagement control station calculates trajectories for interceptors and controls the launching sequence. As such, it communicates with the launcher stations and other Patriot batteries. It is the only manned station in a Patriot fire unit. The launcher stations transport and protect the interceptors, missiles, and provide the platform for the physical launch of the missile. The antenna mast group is the main communications backbone for the Patriot unit. The interceptor missiles, PAC-2 is a proximity fusing missile, whereas PAC-3 has been specifically designed to intercept and destroy missiles by impacting them directly with kinetic energy hit-to-kill technology. Once the Patriot missile is launched, it will be tracked by the phased array radar set. As the interceptor missile approaches the target, its active seeker will steer the missile to the target. A PAC-2 Patriot missile will detonate in the vicinity of the threat missile whereas a PAC-3 will seek to impact the warhead of the threat ballistic missile. Patriot has been given the function of the US Army's anti-ballistic missile system, which is now Patriot's primary mission. The system is expected to stay fielded until at least 2040.